This is the first raid for Pal World. Ladies and gents, the wait is finally over. We're getting a new Pal as well as a whole new raid battle. Brand new enemy we're gonna fight is called Bela Noir. It actually looks really interesting and there's a bunch of cool stuff revealed in a very recent update trailer. We of course have some other features that have been teased in the meantime, so let's jump right in with all of the info. Now the update doesn't really have an official release date, however Pocket Pair did announce that it's going to be dropping really soon. However, we have seen some very interesting new things in the one minute or so trailer, one of which is this summoning ritual right here. We can see the player character slotting in what appears to be a large pal soul crystal into one of these new devices. This immediately causes a calamity to start and this is also the way we get to summon the new raid bosses. The first raid boss in this case is named Bela Noir. It appears to be another darkness spell, so it's probably going to be on the strong side as darkness abilities are generally very good in Pal World, but it does seem to be very interesting. Reminds me a bit of Batalia. It also reminds me a bit of Lylene, so definitely that, but more on like the darkness side. So definitely a nice first glimpse into the feature, a first taste. I personally wished we had Dragon's Trophy first, but I mean, it is what it is. Maybe this is just going to give us a bit of training time for when bigger and more dangerous bosses will arrive, because this is still going to be a pretty dangerous one anyway. Now, there's one thing I want to mention here, and it seems that this entire location seems to be situated very close to Mount Floopy Waypoint right here on this side of the map. We can see that in the background we have the snowy mountain peaks we can also see some of those pillars very close to the cold shore i'm pretty sure that this is the precise location that shot was taken from but with a different aperture for the camera making some of those mountains as well as the background big tree appearing closer than they are but looking at it it's the only possible explanation because anything else it doesn't seem to be on a high ground enough to explain where this is located so either they popped in a new sort of island right here in the middle of the water between some of these other bigger islands or maybe they reworked that uh, previous point i was talking about this mount floopy waypoint does seem to be a pretty good spot to do this in the only problem with this is that we're kind of losing a very good base location as there are a number of very good ore spots right here that would normally yeah, qualify this as a very good base spot. However, it's not the only thing we're going to get in the new update. There's at least one more feature, which is, of course, this base management screen that a lot of people, including myself, have been asking for a very long time. So this is going to give you all of the options when it comes to actually properly setting up a base. Make your pals go and do the task that they are supposed to do without trying to do everything else. So as you can see, we have all of these options with all of the different pals in which we can check which activities they should do around your base. Do they do hand working? Do they do resource collection? Do they do watering? You can actually toggle these on or off should you choose to. The only thing you have to make sure is that you have a pal that does have these available in the first place. So for example, you can get a pan king and let's just say you just wanted to do some watering or just some handiwork. You can just let those on and completely turn off everything else. So this is going to completely change how you look at which of these bosses slash pals are going to recruit for your base knowing now that you can actually toggle things on and off and supposedly the ai will be much better at doing the tasks that you want them to do and by the way this was posted on the official pal world discord on the announcements tab so it's like pretty much 100 legit we are going to get this with the next update now, of course, if you want to test out these features in advance, there is currently a testing application form that you can fill out by accessing the official Discord channel. I'm also going to post some links down below, and this is going to give you the opportunity to test some of these new features in advance before they actually hit the live servers. However, there are going to be some restrictions. I believe that at the time, only Steam accounts are able to do this. Plus, you're going to need to meet some minimum system specifications like having a 2070 and a pretty powerful PC that can handle PAL World properly so that you can test all of the things properly. But again, you're going to find some of the links in the comments below. In any case, on a final note, PAL World devs suffer a lot from success right now. Devs say that massive profits are too big for a studio with our size to handle. And no joke, this is one of like the most sold out game, a third party game of all time, including on Steam 
Xbox Game Pass, you name it. It only cost about like seven point, I mean, six point seven million dollars to make but the game brought in tens of billion of yen in profit and for context 10 billion yen is around 67.2 million dollars they actually made multiple of those in this amount of time which is basically a bit over a month since release so big props to pocket pair for all of this obviously they deserve it it's a very fun game but obviously it's also too big maybe for a studio of its size to handle we also know that pocket pair has been going through a pretty big hiring spree following the very successful launch and it's likely going to see an influx of developers and possibly also much faster content updates following the maybe next 6 to 12 months. I would definitely love to see that because currently it's only sitting at around 55 people. So it could definitely um, jump into maybe 100 and get some uh, other cool stuff in there too. Um, also a potential PlayStation 5 and Nintendo console release might be in the works for the future this is something that um, has been a pressing issue actually for the company and for the game as many people have been asking for a playstation 5 version of pal world let me know down below are you going to jump in the moment it happens or have you even played pal world up until now anyway that's about it with the video and the update thanks so much for watching and until next time 